the last few years it has come back uh, very much into play uh, because of what we consider to be a very permissive uh, Canadian attitude towards uh, terrorists, uh, extremists, people who openly advocate violence. This has been an issue of great uh, friction for many years with Canada. Uh, what he was alleging was not consistent with our policy. Where my diplomats are unsafe going to the embassy. Well, now, we in the United States have had the experience not only of lectures from India, but lectures from Canada. And, uh, uh, you know, I think... Uh, you know, they, they look at you as the global south. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, uh, it, it's, it's one of the more interesting relationships. And um, uh, I think Dean Acheson once wrote an essay about uh, Canadian criticisms of the United States, and he titled it, Stern Daughter of the Voice of God. Um, <laughs> But uh, certainly the Canadian Prime Minister has made some uh, serious uh, charges recently. But I also see that uh, from press reports that you have met while you're in Washington with um, uh, National Security Advisor Sullivan, uh, with our Secretary of State, mm -hmm. uh, Blinken, and that s this subject has come up. Can you give us any information about uh, how this is, is or isn't affecting U.S.-India relations, where this whole matter stands now? from your perspective. Uh, okay, now, so let me start with uh, Canada. Uh, yes, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister made some allegations, initially privately uh, and then publicly. And uh, our um, uh, response to him, both in private and public, where that uh, uh, what he was alleging was not consistent with our policy. Uh, and that if he had, if his government had anything relevant and specific they would like us to look into, we were open to looking at it. Now, um, that's where that conversation is at this point of time. Uh, but to understand that conversation, uh, you have to also appreciate uh, that uh, w this has been an issue of great uh, friction for many years with Canada, uh, in fact, going back to the 1980s. Uh, then it became dormant, but in the last few years, it has come back uh, very much into play uh, because of what we consider to be a very permissive uh, Canadian attitude towards uh, terrorists, uh, extremists, people who openly advocate violence. And they have been given operating space in Canada because of the compulsions of Canadian politics. I don't think most Americans, you know, for, for uh, Americans, perhaps Canada looks very different. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it sort of it depends, you know, uh, from where the interests bear the shoe pinches. For us, it has certainly been a country where uh, uh, organized crime from India uh, mixed with trafficking in people, uh, mixed with secessionism, violence, terrorism. It's, it's a very uh, toxic combination uh, of issues and people uh, who have found uh, operating space there. Uh, so a lot of our uh, uh, tensions with Canada, uh, which well preceded what Mr. Trudeau said, actually come out of, out of that. Mm. Uh, and today, uh, today I'm actually in a situation where my diplomats are unsafe going to the embassy uh, or to the consulates. In Canada? Uh, in Canada. Uh, they are publicly intimidated. And that has actually uh, compelled me to temporarily suspend even visa operations in Canada. So, uh, so as I said, you know, often countries look very different depending on how you see them and what your interests are. But uh, I have this problem in Canada, and uh, so your question, uh, did I speak about it with uh, Jake uh, Sullivan and Tony Blinken? Yes, I did. And? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, let's put, uh, put it this way. Uh, they, you know, they, they obviously 
uh, shared, uh, uh, you know, U.S. views and uh, uh, assessments uh, uh, on this whole situation. And I explained to them at some length, you know, what I gave you was a, uh, was a summary of uh, the concerns which I had. Uh, so I, I think uh, uh, hopefully we both came out of those meetings better informed.